Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we're heading out to find Abby's bunker, or at least get as close as we can. I'll be kind of exploring the area between here and there while we're on the way. Just kind of checking out what there is to see over here. Um, I'm over at Sunnytop Station. This is uh, in the far north of the map. It is uh, just straight north pretty much relative to my camp. So yeah, we're going from here over to Abby's Bunker. It's quite a long ways. There's some stuff to explore along the way over here, including this big uh, whatever this is over here. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see what's what. I see at least a uh, ski lodge over here somewhere, so can check that out. Just had the 50 cal out today, nothing else. Um, we'll end my um, breed launcher too. Should use this thing more often, but I haven't found a whole lot of opportunities where I am uh, in close, well not close proximity, but where enemies are in close proximity to each other. Okay. It's a hiking trail, man. Was that you? Screw you, Garden Gnome. For putting mines on the trail. There's an explosive here, too. I wonder if I can shoot it. You can, okay. That's good to know. All right, you know what? Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. We can't get fooled again. Wise words from George W. The quote was wrong, but I mean, I know what he was trying to say. You know, I get what he was trying to say. Poor guy. I mean, not really, but you know, like, I've stumbled over my words, too. Or misquoted something when trying to sound smart. Okay, nothing crazy here, just a couple muties. Ice tongs? What do you need ice tongs for? We will check for the usual random fans and other assorted things that might have some screws in them. And everything else I could really care less about, pretty much. Maybe springs, but eh, I don't care about them too much. Staff memo to all Sunny Top Ski Lanes staff. Contrary to popular rumors among the staff, the last weekend's three-legged ski race promotion did not end with any fatalities. In actuality, only 14 people were injured. We're also happy to report that almost all of them will be fully able to walk again. Any questions from the Target press? acquired. You humans attack me because you can't take a joke. Fortunately, your combat ability is just as bad as your sense of humor. Boom. Roasted. Dude spawned literally right, right in front of me. Anyway, yeah, just a random memo there.
pretty sure toy cars still have screws in them in 76. They didn't fall out four, so I see no reason why they would change that. Got a lighthouse over here, I think. Can't really tell. Just a lookout tower. Well, I could check this out and um, I could find out some locations around here to look up, I guess. And uh, yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Battery, yes, question mark. I don't think there's anybody here. No reason to really stealth, I guess. Never mind, I hear. I'm so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Never mind, just a scavenger. We're good. Uh, I don't know where they are because they're not here. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. A witch hat? Oh man. That's kind of rare actually, I think. I'll take that. In a skeleton costume, I'll take that too. That's actually pretty cool. Gotta wait a whole nother hour for that food to read. Okay, here we go. Got some stuff on our map now. Hopewell Cave over here. Munitions factory, you say? Hmm. Produces ammo, I think. Oh, sore all over. Building this place up is hard work. Okay, I think we'll just take the road over here. And, um, I might just be kind of going along here, bring along here, and, uh, just keep going, and I'll probably just cut until something interesting happens. It might be a long walk over here, guys, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the Red Rocket Highway Mega Stop. Hello. That's annoying. This is a settlement, by the way. Or a workshop, not a settlement. You can you can take it. Oh lord, that's an Assaultron. Um, maybe I'll do a little damage buff for this. And some damage resist, yeah. How did both of those miss? Pretty tough enemies. Is that someone who needs to you Should have a second till he pops. 
Run away, oh god, run away. Okay, we're good. Cheeks were quite clenched there, not gonna lie. Uh, what did I get? Is this another left arm? That's all I've gotten. Oh, left leg, okay. Uh, this is actually better. Yes, yeah, so we need a left leg, because I'm using that crappy x left leg. Okay, uh, minus 15% damage from animals. I mean, that's kind of whatever. But the, uh, hunger and thirst growing slower is alright, I guess. Alright, that's cool. I will take it. Oh, and by the way, I did get a full suit of power armor, by the way, last time, but it was level 25 raider stuff. So... Would have been used to us a while ago, I suppose. I thought that scaled with your level, but apparently not, so yeah. Not actually that useful. I'm gonna look around here a bit. It'd be really funny if you could ride the horse. Looking for primarily, of course, screws. Yagwai roast, also delicious, okay. I'm gonna have so many sugar and spices, I'm never gonna need it. I'm never gonna use them all. They are useful for some things, but, like, I just never... I'll never use that many. Clown hat? That's kind of nice, too. Okay, that one is friendly. All right. Junk pile. Maybe we get some screws over here. Attack on hostile target. That one's gonna blow. What the fuck? Dude, really? Warning: Protectrons detected outside of Red Rocket vicinity. Please see maintenance terminal alerts. Failure to do so may result in immediate termination. Okay, we don't want to get too sidetracked here, but I can scrap stuff over here, which is nice. It's a random minigun, okay. It's a guy with his flamingos and a minigun. Not sure if that's actually coffee or just uh, tin. Either way, it's useful, but coffee would be nice. Coffee gives you the best AP regen in the game, I think. Warning. Protectrons detected outside of Red Rocket vicinity. Please see maintenance terminal alerts. Failure to do so may result in immediate termination. How many armor? Yeah, do you have some armor I can do? Okay. There we go, there's my desk fan that I just spent like 20 minutes looking around for. Okay, uh, I'm gonna call that good enough, guys. I'm not gonna worry about taking this place right now, but, um... It's not bad. I mean, it does have... Aluminum's not terrible. 
Though I don't need any right now for anything. But the junk pile is not bad. I think we will just be moving on here. I could clear enemies and then get the uh, like 20 caps or whatever, but eh, it, it's such a minor reward for so much work tracking them down. I think I'll just pass for now. Have those, and we'll have a right away. Getting us up to pretty close to full health. That's good. And what the heck is this? So the mire has toxic gas. Ooh, a corroded blow, uh... Was this corroded glowing one? Yeah. It's a ghoul. What are you doing? You know, since it's a glowing one, I really should have this on. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that good damage. Hey! Now we're glad we have that poison resist, right? On our power armor. Okay, whatever. Don't question it, Wanderer. Just go. Clown hat. Maybe I should get a clown hat. I'm supposed to kill a... There's a clown outfit. Kill a Wendigo wearing a clown outfit. Ooh, the Halloween costume skull. Those are all pretty sweet, actually. I thought they were kind of rare, but I guess not, because they're quite... They seem to be quite, uh, common. I don't know why, but I'm just curious what's around here. Hey, it's a vault dweller. That sounds like it's a, um... It requires a key. Only rusted key can unlock. Bet the rusted key would be... Eh, it's probably for a quest later on. I'm not going to stress back too much. Probably isn't that door I need to unlock, but it's whatever. We're just going to go over here and find Abby's bunker. We're almost there. And that robot sounds like a uh, radio broadcast, though. Like, you know, one of those old-timey... Uh, like spooky radio shows. Back before they had TV. I have radworm, that's what I got earlier. Okay, uh, then it's gonna be disease cure time. It's my last one. I have to find some more or make some more.
Is that what I think it is? Pretty sure it is. Okay, it's dead. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, we're good. This is one of the cooler, uh... Pretty sure it's, it's exclusive to 76, the Glowing Hermit Crab. It's one of the cooler new enemies. A giant mutated crab that uses uh, the back end of a van. And what are these? Just decoration. Well, here we are. Overseer's Law, Free State's Bunker. Sam Blackwell and Raleigh Clay. Those damn traitors and their secessionists turned their backs on America to form their free states. Concrete bunkers. You'd never get that past a vault tech radiation proofing inspection. That's for sure. Sounds like they let go of their paranoia long enough to seek out help from the other survivors. Just have to hack this terminal, see what they left behind in there, and what they wanted to do. So I'm guessing we have to either find the password or just hack the terminal. Which we're just going to hack the terminal. Because we are a capable cyborg, after all. There's... Oh, there is one left. Okay. It's like there's none left. What are you talking about? If you're reading this, we're not extinct yet. Humankind needs your help. Please enter if you feel capable of saving the human race. Same thing here? Yeah, just remote door control. Okay. Abby's bunker, let's see. Greetings, stranger. Now, don't panic. My name is Abby. I'm not your enemy, and this isn't a trap. In fact, if you're hearing this, it means I'm not even alive. I was with a group called the Free States. We gave our lives trying to finish what we called the Scorch Detection System. The system will let you know when the Scorched are coming and has the means to help deal with the Scorch Beasts. If you can help, I've created a set of recorded instructions to complete the system. First, you need to find the final communications uplink. And chances are high, it'll need repairs. We entrusted it to a guy named Madigan and told him to place it on the antenna at top of the world. Find the uplink. You can use my workbench here to repair it. Then check in at the main SDS terminal to trigger my next recording. If you're still there, I really hope you're willing to help a dead girl out. If so, good luck. And if not, well, enjoy dealing with the Scorched. And if by some chance this is Madigan, your timing sucks. Okay, so that's Abby, and she is apparently dead, which is really sad. But she's got a sweet bunker here. And we already have the transmitter. Already got that. So, that's good. It looks like um, Rose lured Madigan to the top of the world and uh, stopped him from getting the transmitter over to um, Abby here. So, good job, Rose. Way to, uh, you know, get the rest of humanity annihilated because you uh, lured him over there and trapped him and killed him. Kind of your fault that everybody's dead. I mean, who's to say it wouldn't have gone that way anyway, but still. Abby's to do. 
Finish recording on the master holotape. Reprogram checks for scanning Sam's terminal. Check expiration dates on stim packs. Try to lose it. We have Abby's workstation, detection system terminal. Scenarios, returning from Raleigh's. Ransacked, nothing found. Enter terminal busted. Motors and heating coils found. Bunker flooded. Motors no longer working. Scorch living there, aliens. She's making up scenarios. Don't understand what the purpose of that is, but all right. Okay, let's check her workstation first. If you've made it here, I'm hoping it's still safe to assume you're 100% human. I've yet to see Scorch or mutants using a terminal. Read these entries, save the world, make it mean something. Read me. To the lucky survivor who found this terminal, my name is Abby, Abigail if you want to get technical, and I am, or was, the last surviving member of a group called the Free States. Since the war, Mother Nature's gotten quite creative. Her latest babies, the Scorched and Scorched Beasts, are by far our biggest threats. If you're interested in saving humanity, I'm really hoping you'll help a dead girl out and finish the system. Everything you need to know is on the this terminal, along with a few other informative bits. Fingers crossed, it's also up and running. Scorch Detection System, or SDS. Everything you need to know about setting up the detection system. Technically not everything all at once, but once a system has detected what you're, that you're on board, the other entries will unlock. What is it? First off, what is the SDS? Glad you asked. The SDS is an early warning system for the Scorched. We've placed detectors all over Appalachia that pick up their specific radiation signature. We were able to successfully pull off some local tests here in the mire, but we weren't able to finish everything necessary to complete the system as a whole. That's where you come in. Still to do, find repair and set up Madigan's uplink. Recover routing schematics. Gain security access codes. Upload all this data via relay tower. Reboot the system. Believe me, it's not going to be easy as it sound as easy as it sounds. Otherwise, I'd have it all done by now, right? Madigan, if by some miracle the reader is you, I hope you still have the last uplink. I couldn't find the materials to, f to make another, so that sucker better still work. Or hopefully, you can be it can be repaired with the instructions I've left behind. Communication uplink. The communications uplinks are key pieces to the SDS. The scorch detectors send their signals to the relay towers and the uplink picks up on this and handles the data to a satellite that then relays it back down to my amazing setup here. We were able to set up one at each relay tower, but we still need one set up at top of the world. If you've managed to find the uplink that Madigan lost there, you can trigger my next message with the uplink repaired option on the SDS terminal. Okay. I can't go anymore? Okay. Um, scorched detectors. The scorched detectors are triggered by motion. Once activated, if they pick up the unique radiation signature of the scorched, they'll send a transmission to the closest relay tower. Malfunctions in the mire. If you're reading this, it means the mire detectors need some upgrades. Fan motors. Find these in Raleigh's bunker. Passcode is... R plus P421. Heating coils, five. Look in Raleigh's bunker, Ella's bunker, and the, the closest relay tower. And if no one's broken in and ransacked the place, I have two stashed in the storage room of my own bunker. Okay, Raleigh's, Ella's, and the closest relay tower. Upgraded fan motors. Make these at a tinkerer's workbench once you have the motors and coils. I have one here that's never let me down. Wood armor schematics. Look in Raleigh's bunker for this. It's got the instructions for some protective gear that will make it harder for all the crazy new creatures of death to spot you. It's really handy for getting around. Okay, so the wood armor is, um, the schematics for that are there. Okay. Routing schematics. Entry progress is locked until, until progress is verified. Okay. Locked until verified. Locked until verified. Got it. Free state notifications. The glowing swamp. To all, we recently survived the worst conditions the mire has ever seen. The following is documentation on steps to take should this ever happen again. 1. Crevasse Dam. Crank the turbine to max flow to flush the river. 
Dire Chem, follow the instructions on their operation clean and clear and flush it into the river to absorb the radiation. Three, kill any and all glowing creatures you see. Questions, you know how to reach me. The Vine Heart. To all, I just said they fought off some ghouls and mirelurks that looked to be infested with strangler vines. The creatures worked together as if something was controlling them. Eventually they found what he called the heart. Taking out the heart seemed to stop the creatures, but there's no guarantee that something like this couldn't happen again. Should anyone come across any vine-infested creature, report it immediately to Eddie and his team. This way they can locate any controlling heart in the area to stop it. Raleigh. Scorch Beasts. To all, I am not sure how many people this will reach after the attack on Harper's Ferry, but rest assured, we are working hard on a solution for this new threat. From the Brotherhood's last transmission, we know we're on our own, and we know the reports were real. All we can advise for now is to remain in what shelters you may have found, and if you must leave, stay under as much cover as possible. Scorch Beast Lures after many losses, we've set up several locations with Scorch Beast lures. Should you find yourself in a situation where a Scorch Beast is in the area, keep your pit boys on to listen for priority message alerts. Ideas making them as we speak. We'll be sending out instructions on proper usage soon, but remember, use your best judgment. Use a lure if you're prepared, but if you can, always sneak sh seek shelter first. Okay. is some nice junk here. So thanks for that, Abby. This is the SDS terminal. Scorch detectors. Require maintenance, okay. Uplink not detected at top of the world, okay. I guess I can just take all this stuff. It's all steel after all, it's all somewhat useful though. I should have plenty of steel pretty much for the rest of the game. Okay, just bunk beds over here. This is Abby's personal terminal, I guess. The Scorched. Abigail Singh? Is that how you say your last name? Not sure. Dad thinks I'm old enough to start learning a thing or two about this Scorch detection system, and it's just been work, work, work ever since. I hate it. I mean, I get that the Scorch suck and wipe out har wiped out Harpers, but do they really think all of this is going to work? I'm pretty sure we're screwed, and I'll be starting... Staring at cinder block walls the rest of my life. Dax. Dax is gone. He disappeared, but we all know he's dead. It's the last time anyone should trust Calvin to do anything. I don't even see why I had to have a brother. I could have been an only child. Twice the birthday presents, double the allowance, and best of all, a dog that would still be alive. Fort Defiance. The Brotherhood's gone. Their last message was about Defiance falling, wherever that is. Now Raleigh's putting together a group to see what they can salvage from their old stomping ground, Camp Venture. They may have been assholes, but if anyone stood a real chance against the Scorch, it was the Brotherhood. I'm curious about what happened, but that would mean finding this Fort Defiance, and from the sound of that message, it's probably crawling with Scorched. Okay. Radio Signal. I picked up a really faint radio signal the other night. It was a woman's voice. It sounded like she was offering help, but I couldn't make it out. The signal comes and goes. It seems to get a little stronger as I went west towards the mountains. I went to check it out. Now that everyone's gone, I would really, I could really use some help from someone, anyone who's still alive. But I'd have to go through Raider territory to get close enough for the signal to come in strong, and I just can't risk it. This sucks. She's talking about Rose. A new beginning. It's been one year since I lost my dad. I was reading through his terminal and remembered how how dead set he was on saving us. Dead set. Hmm, maybe not the best choice of words, Abby. 
He trained me as much as I hated it to know the SDS inside and out so I could be here to finish it if he died. And then he died and I did nothing. Starting today, as much as it terrifies me to try, I'm going to finish this system. It's what they all died for, even Calvin. I'm pretty sure this won't end well, but I have nothing to lose. Farewell. A while back, I said I'd finish the SDS. I realized that the chance for my success are maybe a bazillion to one, so first I spent way too much time rigging a million different things so if someone else found my bunker after I'm gone, they have a chance to finish it as well. Now that's done, and I realize this may be my last entry. I've packed a bag and I'm off to top of the world to finish Madigan's uplink. Oh, so... Rose killed Abby too. You're a real bitch, Rose. Or maybe she died along the way, I don't know. Dear Holotape, I'm pretty sure that everyone I know is dead. If you didn't bother with this stupid, stupid system, they'd all still be here. Well, guess what? If you all die, that kind of defeats the purpose. Why couldn't we just stay in our bunkers? Why do we even have to go out there? I'd rather eat cram every day and never see the sun again than be stuck here, alone. I miss my mom and my dad. You guys are supposed to be here. You took me away from my friends and my life all on your stupid promise that things were gonna be fine. That this was best. And is it? I can't do this on my own. I don't want to do this on my own. I just want things back the way they were. This is a pretty sweet setup. I wouldn't have left either, to be honest, if I had food and stuff stocked. This is Niraj's terminal. Niraj Singh. So this was who her father or brother? Calvin was her brother, right? Personal notes. Day one. Dear Jen, we did it. We officially moved into the bunker today. Since we had room for a few more, we took on the Coens. Did you know they just had a little girl? I'm sure Abby and Cal will appreciate the distraction. Some other kinds, some other kids to pick on besides each other. So far, we're all a little excited. It's more of a camping trip right now than a reality. Restless. My dearest Jen, the kids are getting restless now. Seems the newness of the bunker has worn off. Abby's old enough that I can distract her with a few small engineering projects, though she's missing her friends. Calvin and Daniel, on the other hand, are around the same age, and this place can barely contain their energy levels. At least us adults can still appreciate a good drink once the kids are in bed. D-Day. Dear Jen, Raleigh and Sam were right. It's finally happened. China dropped the bomb. I felt the vibrations go through the entire bunker, and the kids barely left my side since. The news has been chaotic. So far, the bunker's integrity has held. No radiation has gotten through. Let's hope it stays that way. Harper's Ferry. Dear Geneva, Raleigh sent out a call last night asking if anyone would like to attempt to rebuild a life outside at Harper's Ferry. After some discussion with the kids and the Coens, we decided to try. It's not going to be easy, but if Abby and Cal can live a life where they see the sky and interact with more people, I think it's worth a shot. The Scorched. My dearest Geneva, it's been a while. I haven't written on this terminal since we left for Harper's Ferry, but we're back. It was a seven-year effort, but a failed one. This new world is more dangerous than we anticipated. There's a new creature out there we call the Scorched. It takes over an organism somehow. Bears, deer, and even people. Until we can devise a way to face them, we're back in the bunker where I can keep Abby and Cal safe. We lost the Coens this aber aberration. I won't lose our children. Proposals. Detection. Ella believes the Scorched have a unique radiation signature. I'm fairly certain I can rig a device that can detect this and send out a signal. It could be a type of early warning system. If we have the means to fight, we can fight, and if not, we can retreat to our bunkers. I'll start drawing our uh, plans tonight. Definitely her father, by the way. Relay Towers. We've talked about adding detectors to the surrounding regions so we have better eyes into what may be coming our way. This will require a greater communications network than I can rig together. I think we can somehow utilize the relay towers for this. I'm pretty sure I can build a communications uplink to pick up and send our own signals. Eddie's putting together a team for us to go investigate. It's absurd how often these uplinks become damaged due to the local wildlife. 
After Terry's death, I've decided to construct a, construct a robot that can handle it. I've found an iBot that I think can, like, we can make use of. Okay, so we can fix the uh, uplinks. Traps. We found some tech at Camp Venture, left behind by the Brotherhood of Steel. Ella is theorizing that we can make adjustments to create it to create a type of sonic trap for the Scorch Beast. If we can find the right frequency, I think we'll be able to disorient it, maybe even ground it long enough to kill it. These are all ones that we already saw. Free state notification was like a local, uh, like like a intranet among the uh, the other uh, free states people. This place sounds like anyway. Okay, well here we go. There is the Tinkerer's Bench we can use to uh, fix the uplink. Two heating coils as well that we're gonna need for later on for um, whatever we're making, I forget already. I have to be on my power armor, right? Got some new threads I can wear too. There we go. Very nice. Very spooky. Proper look for HR being the uh, angel of death that he is. Can I please go back and... Oh, whatever. Let's go ahead and craft. Wouldn't let me go back to the first person. Okay, so we're doing quest items. We need to do uplink. Right, here we go. Okay, there it is. Okay, uplink is repaired. If this message is playing, it means two things. The good, you've got a working uplink. The bad, some of the scorch detectors in the area are malfunctioning and need upgraded parts. It looks like my fear of the Myers ecosystem wreaking havoc on them has come true. For these repairs, first you need to get to Raleigh Clay's bunker. He's got replacement motors for the fans we use to keep the detectors dry. Oh, and write this down. R plus P421. It's Raleigh's password, and you'll need it. If you didn't catch that or you want more info, you can always check my workstation terminal. It's all there. Good luck. Okay. Ugh, these... Damn roach. This, this piles of meat. I don't even want the meat. I just want to get those nasty meat piles off the ground. All right, so more should be unlocked here then. Okay, so next step is to go to Raleigh's bunker. All right, and that is, there's the emergency signal over here. And there's Raleigh's bunker all the way down there. Okay, well, we can maybe check the emergency signal on the way. Oh, it's a uh, crash landing. Oh, is this is this the... Um, this is Sofia Deguera? I think that's how you say it. Okay, we can go check that out as well on the way, I guess. All right, so that was pretty cool. Abby's Bunker. Learned a lot more about what happened with these Scorched Beasts and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna hop back in the power armor here and we will head back outside. Well, what was going on with that lighting glitch there? That was weird. But yeah, we'll head outside and uh, start making our way down south. I don't think I'll ever actually do this this whole quest, but whatever. 
Alright, so first off, we'll go back this way and see if we can find Sophia. She is the, um, crashed... She had the crashed, um... Space satellite thing? Crashed and re-entry, I think. Spooky. Didn't see him till like last second. Oh boy. Yeah, a Meyer Alert Queen, I think I'd like to probably use. You're gonna fight me! Fuck off, I'm trying to use some freaking. Medex. For the poison resist. No, it's just damage resist, not, not poison resist anymore, huh? Okay, well, I got poison resist on my armor. I should be okay to take this thing down. I hope. Do I have more explosives? Not really. I do have this thing. Okay. I guess I'll take it. I didn't expect them to just kind of bug out over here and stand there. Myrlick eggs? No thanks. I think I've had enough of those for a lifetime. Need to go west over this way. So there's a bunker over here too, it looks like. I have to imagine this area would be like very humid and like kind of miserable. Super humid and swampy and lots of mosquitoes and stuff. Yeah, no thank you. Oh, son of a bitch, I got parasites. to find some more disease cure. Might just go into the uh, forest area for a bit and look for some Shelby's terminal. Oh, this is um, location one, two, and three. Shelby O'Rourke. Entry one, first entry. This is for what? Pretty sure my friends think I'm crazy chasing after storytime critters, but hell, I got this little project approved by the Chancellor himself so they can talk all they want. And he thinks the big wigs at Vault Tech just want to dig their claws into my findings, but I don't put it past them, but I don't care. My dad hides these cryptids before I was even born, and he never turned up any real proof, but he also didn't have Vault Tech technology behind him either. This one's for you, Dad. Gotta brush your soul. Okay. I'll, uh, read more about this later. This is a daily quest. I don't even think I want to do a daily quest, to be honest. I 
I'm not really, I don't really care about daily quests at all, so I'm gonna pass now, I think, guys. Um, there's some lore here about cryptids and stuff, but yeah, I, yeah, I don't care. I think we're gonna probably end the episode here, guys. Um, this is not part of this pseudo investigation thing, it's a different thing, pretty sure. So I will go up here and find out uh, where Sophia de, Gre de, Gre de Guerra, I can't say it properly, where she's at, and um, maybe help her out like we helped out, uh, what's his name? I don't know if I'll send her back to my camp or not, I guess we'll see. It depends how much I like her. I didn't care for Beckett that much, it's kind of boring. So yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, but that's going to wrap it up this one, guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.